we're gonna be looking at VLoud versus Uscreen. In this video, you'll learn three things. Number one, the features. Number two, the pricing. Number three, key examples of both platforms. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you which one I would choose. VLoud is a platform where you can create online TV channels for your brand. You can do this with a linear fashion or on demand. So that just means linear, you can have it just like a TV show or a TV station where there's gonna be different times throughout the day. And they're gonna to have to wait, your audience will have to wait to watch it based on what time it is. Video on demand is just like Netflix or something like that. You can choose what episode you're gonna watch and when. Uscreen is a platform made for video on demand and growing your streaming business. Now, it allows you to use this on Apple TV, Roku, Fire TV, etc. And depending on what plan you choose, you can even have an app for your streaming platform. Let's look at the features. For VLoud, there are quite a few different features, but I would really focus on what do you need for your brand. For example, some people are trying to use a streaming platform as a MVP, a minimal viable product, to get funding. Or you're trying to create your own brand and have it on your website. What are you trying to do? Let's go through these features. Number one, let's look at the video hosting. You're going to be able to upload your videos to the cloud on VLoud. That's great. You can brand the player. You can have it as white labeled, so you're not going to be seeing the VLoud logo or anything like that. Again, for the linear TV channels, you can have it 24-7. You can really build it out as a channel. You can also hook it up to a third-party provider and show ads, so you can monetize that way as well. You can have a TV guide. Again, if you're scheduling the different information and you're doing this in a linear fashion, you can have live streaming. You can import YouTube playlists. You'll be able to have analytics and content tagging. There's a lot of different things. And also, this is important to note, you're gonna be able to have the M3U8 links for your linear channels. What does that mean? Let's just break it down very easily. If you wanna have a Roku channel, you're able to send that information to a Roku channel to have it. Now, at the moment, you're gonna to have to do this manually. You're gonna to have to go through the Roku SDK developer kit, and you're gonna to have to have that. In the future, on the roadmap, VLoud has that as an option under consideration, making it easier to have OTT, which is over the top apps, and you're gonna be able to create those apps and have distribution all from one point. That's under consideration. The community has voted on it quite a bit, so I'm looking forward to that, for that possibility. But you can also just do this manually, or you can go on, on Fiverr, find someone to do this under $100. And by the way, Yes, the going rate is $100. We have already tested this in other videos, so some people have quoted this higher. It's possible if you have a developer that is charging their hourly rate and they've decided to charge you $500, $1,000. Yes, that could be, but you can also find very good developers being able to do this service for less than 100, and there's links down below, and again, you would have to go on Fiverr, talk to someone, but We've done it. There's videos down below to show that we've done this and created Roku channels. You can do the same thing with VLoud and just sending that link over. For Uscreen, there are tons of other features that you can have with Uscreen, but I would really have you focus on what do you need this for. For example, if you're running a, a nutrition or fitness business and you're looking for a platform where you can also do your marketing, have extensive upsell, downsells, have marketing analytics, Uscreen is really made for that. I really find that if, you if you're just a solo entrepreneur or a small team, you could be running your entire streaming business on this platform, similar to I would think of like Shopify if I'm trying to scale and build my online e-commerce very easily. Shopify is the platform I would use. Uscreen would be on that same level if I'm trying to do streaming and creating a brand online. I would be using Uscreen because I don't have to think about any other third party um, integrations with marketing. It has the whole marketing toolkit right here with Uscreen. For example, it already has email automations, gift cards, marketing integrations, landing pages, upsells, downsells. That's something that really caught my eye with Uscreen. And again, it allows you to scale your business. And especially if you're trying to do it with a streaming platform, Uscreen's going to be 
it if you already have that audience and you're trying to scale. Next, we're going to be looking at pricing. This is always a fun topic because VLoud and Uscreen are going to be for very different use cases. So keep that in mind. The pricing, we're going to break it down, but keep in mind, what are you using this for? If we look at VLoud for the pro version, it's $29 a month if billed annually. The storage is, is 300 minutes stored. Okay, you can have five channels, and that just means you can have five different channels and have them on five different websites if you want. So if I'm trying to brand and have like almost a network of different websites and all uh, with one main conjunction here, I could go that way. I could do this easily with VLoud, five channels. I can have 200 video links. I can have player customization. So again, if it's on the website, they're not going to see that it's VLoud. It can be branded the way that I want branded website, and analytics. For more information, you can always scroll over the different portions of what it in includes, and then it gives a little bit more detail based on what you're looking for. For example, branded website, it says create a customizable website with your own domain, the C name, and include one or a list of channels. All right, that's interesting, and that's new, uh, new to VLoud. So that's $29 a month. To $79, what's the main difference? What do I look at? The storage goes up to 900 minutes. The streaming number goes to 40,000 minutes viewed per month. Now, this is important if you're trying to do a 24-hour channel or something like that where you need to have an uptime for the streaming longer. So that's something to keep in mind. Instead of five channels, you get unlimited channels, you get unlimited video links, and you have live streaming now enabled for $79 a month. For $199, the premium plan, that's when you get the M3U8 link for the linear channel. So that's if I want to be using it for Roku or sending it out to Fire TV, all of those things, that's going to be starting at $199 a month. Also, too, you can be using met, uh, ads monetization and priority support something to keep in mind. So again, if you're trying to do something with Roku, Fire TV, all of those things simultaneously, that's going to be the basic package that you're going to need to accomplish that. The storage goes up to 3,000 minutes stored and 120K minutes for streaming per month. On the flip side, Uscreen has less packages, but they're very different for different reasons. For example, the basic package they charge $49 per month and they charge you an additional 50 cents per subscriber per month. So again, it's $49 starting plus 50 cents per subscriber. So they're looking at your subscriber count. VLoud doesn't matter. They're not going to be tracking that. For Uscreen, they are going to be charging you additionally based on how you scale. Now, let's go into the full featured list to get a little bit more details on what's included and the stuff that we can we can look at. Now the video player, you're gonna have resume watching, captions and subtitles, that's great. Setup, trailers and previews. Again, that allows you to have that mystique, allow people to under uh, get that preview before they buy or do those kind of things if you want. Let's look at usage limits. For the basic package, you're allowing unlimited video streaming. And the video storage is up to 3,000 minutes. That's for the basic package. Unlimited admins, unlimited roles, unlimited products. Okay, and that's great. But no live streaming. So the basics, that would be $49. And we're looking at the video storage at 3,000 minutes. 3,000 minutes. We're not even hitting 3,000 minutes until the 199 package. Now... Let's take a look at this. Now, you cannot live stream until you go to the Amplify. That's $399. So that's $399 a month to do live streaming on this platform as well. So keep that in mind. For the live streaming for VLoud, live streaming starts at $79. Okay, so we have the two differences right there. That's a lot of information for pricing. Because these platforms, I just really, I want to stress these platforms, although they both do videos and it's, it's for, it's for your brand to build your streaming empire. They're very specific use cases. What is your use case? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's take a look at the use cases for both platforms. 
For VLoud, if we look at the different brands that use the platform, it's very, very wide. For example, some are creating a TV station via their website. Some are previewing their festival and they're using VLoud to do this. If I was going to summarize this, I would really look at VLoud being used as a beta or an MVP version of a TV station or a network trying out to expand. That's what I see VLoud being used for. For Uscreen, on the other hand, this is perfect for personal brands in very specific branding. If I'm looking at Mimi Method or any of these platforms, what I notice, even though it's a similar look and feel, it's very concise. It already has the marketing built in, start seven day free trial, watching trailer, it's super clean and the template's already made for you in Uscreen. So, I mean, why not take advantage of it? Also, it reminds me of when you're in Shopify, they're already giving you the best of templates that convert. When I'm looking at Uscreen, they're doing the same thing for video streaming and video on demand. I'm going to look at a popular site called Ramwa that's you know, um, range of motion workout of the day. So it has to do with CrossFit and weightlifting and all of those things. But when I'm looking at this website and what's happening and me converting as a user, I'm looking at some of the examples in Uscreen, very similar. The format is very, very spot on and I could be emulating that kind of style. So if I'm looking for almost a done for you website and everything already there, you screens got it already made for me. And on top of that, it has the marketing already built in. So I don't have to hodgepodge it all together and to get it started. It's all there f from the beginning to get started. If I'm choosing between VLoud and Uscreen, what would I choose? I would go with Uscreen. And the reason I would do that, I'm looking for a platform that is a one-stop shop that allows me to control my brand. Uscreen allows me to have the marketing for me to upsell, downsell, and have a great user experience. In fact, there are different links down below. We've built multiple brands within an hour using Uscreen. VLoud does have its place, but I would be leaning towards that if I was trying to do an MVP or a beta version of a TV channel, or I'm looking for VC funding. It's just a different way. If I'm looking for linear and video on demand, and I'm trying to customize uh, my my approach of streaming, I would go with VLoud. But for the vast majority of people that are solo entrepreneurs or a small team and they're looking to have a platform to make it easy for them to scale their business, run ads, do all those things, I would go with Uscreen. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're working on, what kind of business you're trying to build. I'll see you in the next video.